Hello everybody. Today's video is going to show you how to compress a GarageBand file. Uh, not only an audio file, but it'll give you the actual band file, which gives you all of these individual tracks, okay? So whoever you're sending it to, if they have an iPhone or a Mac, they can go ahead and open that file, uncompress it, uh, and then you can have access to all of these individual tracks, whether it's a MIDI track or an audio recording. The MIDI tracks are great because you can pick those apart and you can edit that and kind of make your own little song from what somebody sends you if you've got a good enough program. Uh, GarageBand works, but my buddy uses Logic. Um, does pretty well with it, okay? So let's go back to our songs. What we're going to do, we're going to select the song. Now, hit share. However, you do not want to share a song file, okay? All of these files up here on the top, they're all M4A files. The audio is not very good. It does not give you access to the MIDI. And that is uh, the MIDI or those little blocks that you see on the tracks, okay? It's each individual note. And having a program like Logic, it lets you pick that apart like a little Rubik's Cube and you can put it all together. You can make a puzzle out of it. And you can make your own song, okay? My buddy doesn't know how to play an instrument, but he can produce the hell out of stuff, okay? So he can make something sound a lot cooler. I've been playing guitar for 23 years, and he can make stuff sound crazy with production magic. So it's really cool. A little Rick Rubin over there. Um, now you can see these uncompressed files as well. You cannot email those. Those are too big to send via email. So don't even, don't even worry about those, okay? We're going to send project. Now, the problem I would run into is I would, you know, copy this. You can copy it to documents. You can, that puts it in your files, um, but you can't email that. You can't, it, it, it corrupts the file for some reason. I don't know why. It's kind of dumb, but you have to hit open in. Okay, so open in, save to files. We're going to save it. I'm going to hit replace. I've already got it saved, but for the prop, uh, you know, for the purposes of the video, we're going to do that. Good. Go down. Okay, we will find the song. Let's see, song 37. I'm going to select that. Select that. Now, bottom right-hand corner, you hit compress. Okay, that's going to make it a zip file. So while that's zipping up, really only takes a second, okay? Depending on how long the song is, that the song I am using for this video is very small. But uh, let's see here. Once that's ready to go, Find that in our files. Select that. Now you can send this via email. Okay, you can send it Gmail. You could put it in Dropbox, but uh, sometimes email is a little bit easier, quicker access for what my friend does. Um, so once he gets this file, he can unzip it. It uncompresses the file. It gives him access to the actual band file. And if you have, if your friend has an iPhone or a Mac, they can use GarageBand and they can edit it. They can send it back to you. You can go back and forth. My producer, he lives in another state away from me. You could do this around the world if you wanted to. It doesn't matter as long as somebody has email access. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down in the comment section if you have any questions. Um, subscribe if you want. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm just making this video to help people. So hope you all have a good day and good luck with your music.